Right, what we're going to have a look at is how a reversal actually happens. It's one of these things, it's really easy to say, oh yeah, well, market comes down to level, buy it, reversal. How do you know that when it bounces, it's not a pullback for a continuation? And this is about understanding what's happening and what the different choices are that traders have. The way to think about it is when you reach a level, and if we use the example here, you get down to the level at 18. Now, there are four different decisions to be made here. These decisions are made by either new buyers, new sellers, short positions, or long positions. So, let's take market falls down, quick drop into the level at 18. As a new buyer, this seems like a good point to buy. You can buy and put a stop below the level. So now you've got reason to buy. As a new seller, you haven't found a break of a level. So is there a justification to be short there? No, not really. So that's a number of sellers that have gone. So there's no one selling, but there are some people buying. From the perspective of someone with a short position, this is an area effectively to take some profit. Market falls down, you're on side, on side, bang, hits the level, they get out. So they're a buyer. And from the perspective of a long position, if you're already long and the market falls to the level, it's not broken, there's no reason to exit. So you've got either a neutral position from people who want to sell or people who are already long, and you've got a reason to buy for people who want to be long and people who are already short. So that's the first aspect of the bounce. What then happens is the market moves into a little range, so 25 to 32 area. Now this is where the decision comes. And with a reversal, the way that these things will happen is first you establish that a level has been hit. But from there, we can either continue on, so you get a pullback and we continue, or you get a pullback and the market rallies. So you get this little range, 25 to 32. Now go back to what people are gonna to want to do here. Having seen the market bounce, anybody without a long position, so new buyers, could see this as a chance to get into a position, buy the bottom of that range, build a position to play up the range. Likewise, anybody who's a new short position, wanting to sell, can sell the top of that range and try and play for the continuation down. So you get this balancing of positions there. Anybody who's already short, is gonna be wrong. If the market breaks out of that range to the upside, they're gonna get out, but they don't need to do anything yet. And anybody who's already long is gonna be thinking, potentially, they could add on. They could continue to build position here. So you can see now the difference, again, in people's motivation to trade. And I've got that in the little table, as you can see. So finally, you get to the top of the range, the market has been absorbing there, and this is something we can look at in another video on absorption order. Once the top of the range breaks, now everything changes. Anybody who's a new buyer can add, or well, jump into a trade there on the break. New sellers have no reason to want to sell, and so instead they're going to be thinking, right, where can we sell much, much higher up? So there's no new sellers, there's good reason for new buyers. Anybody with an already held short position needs to get out. They've been shown they're wrong now, so they need to get out. And anybody with an already established long position can add on as well. So there's very, very strong reason for the market to go higher. That's what you have to think about when you're thinking about reversal. Don't just think, is this a good point to buy? But ask yourself, what are other people doing? What are other people's motivations to trade? And what are the conditions that people in general are going to be applying to get into a trade. You know, is anybody needing to get in yet? Are people going to wait? And so with that, most reversals, you have time. The market will hit a level, and once it bounces, then as people become more willing to believe that this is a low, that brings in more and more buyers, and steadily the market reverses. You often have a lot more time on a reversal than you think. So bear that in mind next time you're taking a trade on. It's not just as simple as buy the level and it bounces. It could well be buy the level, it bounces a little bit and then continues. So think about people's motivation and what they're doing at any point in time. We spend a lot of time doing stuff like this and talking through these ideas with traders. If you wanna see how we go about doing this more so, click on the link below. If you just wanna see more videos, click subscribe, click on the notifications. I'll see you all soon. Thank you.